What's up, everybody? Here's the, the lowdown, the skinny. Yeah, I've got all my IVs and all that fun stuff. So here's what's uh, most current. Uh, sleeping through the night was not very easy. Um, being woken up every, I think it was two hours for vital signs and all that kind of stuff. I knew that was going to happen, expected it, but um, yeah, not never really fun. Uh, and then I, uh, from about two o'clock in the morning all the way through until about 6.30, um, had absolutely horrible muscle spasms, back spasms, uh, and um, it was not fun. Any twist, not any twist, um, any movement or tweak or anything like that, that I was trying to do, even like leaning forward like this to try and do anything at all was extraordinarily painful. Um, and I, you know, they asked me pain scale, what are you at? And I was uh, between a seven and eight through most of that time period for those hours. And then they gave me a different uh, medicine. They gave me uh, a different muscle relaxer than I'm usually on. Um, and uh, I'm not sure why, but that's what they've done. And then they uh, put me on a different pain medicine. Oxy wasn't really doing much of anything for me, at least not that I could notice. Uh, and so they ended up uh, giving me um, a different one that starts with a T. I don't know what it is. It's not tram at all, but it sounds like it. Um, and so um, after I got that, then I felt much better. Uh, so things got better then. Um, I have, as you can see here, a cane that's right here that I'm going to be taking with me home. Um, they uh, also gave me the little pincher grabber thing to take with me as well as a little tube thing that you slide your sock on and then that way you can put your socks on and uh, do all of that. So I've got all of that to take with me um, which will be nice so that I can get some support getting all those different things on. Um, but overall feel right now I'm probably um, probably sitting at about a four when it comes to pain, four to five. Um, definitely not comfortable, but not um, terrible. And so, um, yeah, that's what's gone on. Uh, PT and OT, so physical therapy and occupational therapy, both came in. And uh, they came in uh, about an hour ago now. And uh, um, talked with me, made sure I understood, uh, you know, if... If you're watching this video on YouTube because you're wanting to learn more about what goes into um, a spinal fusion, then um, you'll want to get familiar with BLT, um, and that's what the doctors and surgeons all have told me and reminded me afterwards is no BLT, and it stands for bending, lifting, or twisting. No lifting above 15 pounds, um, no twisting at all, and no bending. Um, so that's, that's their orders. Um, I do have a pre-op. Um, not actually scheduled yet, as far as I know, but a pre-op that's going to take place in two weeks just to see how things are going. Probably going to check the incision site uh, and all of that. But um, that's what it's been like. Um, I got to say, this hospital is absolutely fantastic. The medical center here, the staff, everybody has been absolutely top-notch. Um, and, I mean, from the nurses to uh, PTOT to the surgeons to the PAs to everybody, um, they've been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and have been really, really nice and made it uh, a really, um, quote-unquote, pleasant experience, I guess you could say. Um, and so it's, uh, it's been, I'm, I'm glad I had it done here. Um, and uh, they ended up not doing, I don't think I said any of this to you guys last time because I don't think I knew. Um, when I talked with the surgeon this morning, he came in uh, and I uh, talked with him, and I said, you know, from my understanding, it was going to be a T-lift, but I don't, know that there's a second incision point so did it end up being a t-lift or a p-lift uh, and he said no we actually ended up doing a p-lift uh, and um, that was just because there was enough bone available to use for the bone graft and so that's what they did uh, and so i ended up having a p-lift um, and uh, they cleaned up some of the um, ground down some of the um, bone spurs and different things and got it all taken care of and they pulled out the disc which was very, very minimal, uh, he said, and uh, took care of everything that they needed to for making the cage and putting the bone graft in it for the bone. He said fusion should uh, take place within about three months, uh, which is earlier than I have heard from everything that I looked up. I heard six to nine months, but um, I'm going to go off of what he said and not expect it to be at three months, but uh, it would be great if it is at three months, and if it needs to go to six months or nine months, then so be it. But um, that's everything that he has told me, 
he was very pleased with how everything went. Um, no hiccups, no challenges, nothing whatsoever. Um, so praise God, everything, um, everything went smooth. So now it's just a matter of uh, pain management and making sure that I follow the orders of, um, you know, being being limited mobile when I get home, uh, walking a little bit here and there, and then make sure that I pay attention for when PT starts up and make sure that I'm attending that. So that's what's up. That's what's going on. Uh, it is about 9.30 in the morning on uh, Wednesday, December 20th, and uh, Aaron is going to be picking me up probably noon to 1, um, or she'll get here between noon and 1 for me to be discharged and to go through that whole process. So that's it. That's the latest update after the first night and how everything has gone. Um, very uncomfortable for the people that have their uh, fusion surgery and go home the same day. Um, I, I'm glad that I stayed for the one night. Um, not that I had a choice on it, but I'm glad that I stayed the one night because um, it would have been extremely challenging to go through all of the muscle spasms and everything uh, at home. So um, total blessing. Uh, but yeah, things are good. And that about sums it up. So I'm going to finish eating what little bit of breakfast is left um, between the fruit cup and yogurt and different things. Uh, but oatmeal and omelet and all sorts of good stuff. I tell you, this place does it right. So, all right, everybody, that's the latest update. Leave any comments, questions, whatever you've got down below. I'll answer them when I can get to them. And uh, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. So, all right, we'll see you all later.